Hello, Mike. Peanut button gumshoe time. Peanut button gumshoe time. Peanut butter gumption. Sorry. Pe Continue. Peanut butter gumption? Is that uh, a... I was trying to say Peter Button Gumshoe, but my brain short circuited at the speed. See, it sounded to me like the knockoff of Reese's Fast Break, some other company trying to make that bar. Hmm. And I do have the peanut butter, so I'd say we're ready to rock and roll. Where last we left a few weeks ago, we were on, I believe, Case 13. Case 13, Finding the Fins. So, here's the thing. Channel 13 in Adelaide wants to make yet another series of Something is Fishy. However, the Finn brothers, fishermen extraordinaire and stars of the show, have gone missing and can't be found. Channel 13 has posted a $2,000 reward for anyone who can find them by July 25th. Now it is currently June 11th. That is a big old solid month and a half. Wow. So, Fisherman Extraordinaire. I um, would suggest searching for any major fishing hotspots. Yeah, that is the obvious one. We mm -hmm. could also do a search if we wanted to spend our $10 to dial into the internet. It's useful. A fin. You want to do Finn? Yeah. Hmm. Home in Derby. That's right. not a terrible place to start. No. Let's but go there. to you if you want to go somewhere where there's good fishing. Nah, let's go to the hometown first and then make another search if necessary. Derby. More like Derpy. Am I right? <laughs> Fortunately, two days out of six weeks is not particularly hurtful. There is a flag, though. Uh, from my notes, it is my turn to go first. So, let's check the boar. Uh, I'll check the creek. The creek? You know, that was probably, uh, that was probably the smarter decision. Well done. Indeed. The Finn's property is here. What's a jackaroo? What's a jackaroo? A jackaroo? <laughs> I need to look up what a jackaroo is. Well, now I have now I have to say this the right way. <clears throat> the Finn's property is near Tunnel Creek. You speak to one of the jackaroos who informs you that the brothers drove across to Broome when they left here. So, so a jackaroo is an intern, sheep, or cattle hand. A young man working on a sheep or cattle ranch for experience rather than pay. Fucking jackaroo. Hey, it makes sense. <laughs> All right, then. The female counterpart, Jillaroo, is attested from 1945. I'm not surprised that exists. All right, um... so, so we've got two clues, Broom and Tunnel Creek. And I'm going to guess the Tunnel Creek may be within Broom. But either way, it's a lead. Because I know it's not a city. We would know that by now. So, shall we hop a Brume? Sure. Real short drive. <sighs> Real long sleep. Yeah. All right. All the sleeping is making me tired. Hmm. <laughs> All right, it's up to you. Uh, what was the clue that we got? My brain is melting already. Tunnel Creek. Uh, right, and... And Broom. 
Uh, we're in okay. Broom and we're in Broom and the flag. So there was no. Why? Why were they in Broom? Why were they going to Broom? I feel like I may have missed something. Uh, they didn't say. The um, oh, okay. the guy, the guy said that that he knew that they were driving up to Broom. That's as far as we know. Oh, and, okay. And the flag, the flagpole is erect. So. Then let's go to the jetty. An old man fishing on the jetty doesn't know where the fins have gone, but says that they always go to church before setting out on a fishing trip. Oh, but I think you know where to go. Yes, I do, and I'm kind of gonna, I'm kind of gonna sneak in the back way to this one. Yes, indeed, the Finn brothers did attend the church, and it seems that silly old Fergus dropped one of their maps into the collection plate. Perhaps he thought it was a five-dollar note. On this map, there is a circle drawn in pencil around the Riverina district. You donate 20 to the poor. Riverina, huh? I dare say that that is the more helpful clue. So let's search Riverina. No argument there. The area along the Murray River between New South Wales and Victoria. <laughs> Between New South Wales and Victoria. That's the one thing they really should have done for this is to draw the uh, is to draw the territory lines here. Yep. <sighs> Otherwise, I would say the city closest to that. Uh. Go ahead and pull up a Google map. I was waiting for you to ask. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to because I, I feel this is a miss on their part at this point in the game because now they're talking between two territories. <sighs> All right. Um, if you can find the Riverina... Very far south. Mm. Uh, First of all, what exactly is the river? The looks like it is not on the river, but near the river. Just north of it. The, um, ri the Riverina? So, Threadbow, perhaps? Threadbow? Perhaps. What the hell? Let's try it. If it's not the right place, it's going to be in the right zip code of places. Okay. Let's get there. We might be overshooting our target, but we've got a month and a half. We do. Flag is down. See that map again. So it's said also between New South Wales and Victoria. Are there any are there any cities close to that border? Uh which border? Between New between South Wales and Victoria. Uh, Melbourne is too far south. Canberra is too far north. There's like a diagonal <laughs> line that goes in between. So, Echuca is probably our best shot. Yep. All right then, let's go. There's a flag. Oh, there's a steamboat, which would imply that there is a river. Which would imply that it is the correct river. I've got a steamboat, too. Do you know what it's called? Your Willie? Yeah! Because of Steamboat Willie. Yeah! We're on the <laughs> same page. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, uh, I'm going to say... You got it last time, right? I did. Oh, so that means you can retain control. That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm going to go along the river. Yeah, that's what I would have done. 
You meet an old lady who fishes here every day. She remembers you from when you were looking for Godfrey and his balloon. She tells you that the Finns decided to go and try their luck up the Darling River. She sells you a perch for $15. That's a ridiculous price. The Darling River. Whoops. Misclick as I misclick as I switched windows. What happened? I misclicked as I switched windows and wound up hitting a bad location. That's on me. And ended up hitting what location? I hit a I hit another investigation point, which is bad because there are no more good ones. Like I I wrote the note in my notepad and then jumped over and clicked by accident right on the fucking place. I missed it. Yeah, I need Sorry. to. Yeah, that's okay. The internet didn't. <laughs> All right. So the Darling River. Bark. 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 All right. So it seems the logical place to go is. Bark. Bark by the bus. Yes, borked by the bus. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're about to eat some chocolate off of the ground. You notice what appears to be a wallet lying on the ground. What do you do? Pick it up. 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 The wallet contains two hundred forty dollars in notes. The owner's phone number is in a card on the wallet. You ring her up. And she tells you to keep it. She never liked the wallet anyway. So we scored 240, mm. and the flag is up. Oh. Well, the Darling River is not mentioned at all here. I'll say the Cobb and Cosine. The only one that doesn't appear to be the police. I guess... The fort is more of a military thing. Mm. Uh, maybe they're getting fishing licenses. So let's go to the courthouse. Good logic. Unfortunately incorrect. I'll say the police station. The police... <laughs> that's, a, that's a fine way to phrase it. The police spend a day with the Finn brothers trying to find some good fishing, but without success. They tell you that they headed east to try out the Macquarie River. I like this a lot, because now we're learning a lot about the geography Indeed. as it pertains to the rivers. Mm. This was a smart move. Mm. Man, these two guys, when they weren't surfing, they were making a pretty good educational entertainment game. Mm. East, eh? Well, the most direct eastern cities are Threadbow, which we've already gone, and we know from past experience that we can sequence break a game. Yep, indeed. And Canberra. We can blackmail and... someone before we get the blackmail to blackmail them with. Yep. So that leaves Canberra and Wollandong as our most likely places. So Canberra um, first, right? As you as you wish. Do you have a do you have another solution or suggestion? Nope. Okay. To the national capital we go. Indeed. Man, my allergies are very suddenly kicking my butt. Mm. I'm gonna go mute myself, get some water, and take some antihistamine. Alright. Turns out I gotta go further east anyway. Wallandong. And when you return, we have the flag. Gonna hold that there for time. Uh, go on ahead. Okay. What do we got? We We're had to go still in control. Yeah, we had to go to Wallandong. And I 
Well, the lighthouse would be near water. I'm going to try there. Bad luck. You're in the right place, but the competition ended just yesterday, and the winner was Fergus. Perhaps if you can find the president of the fishing club who lives somewhere in Wollandong. So there's a more All useful right. clue here. Um... The animal gardens. No good. Uh, Jamboree. Well, yeah. I guess, guess inexplicably the steelworks. Yeah, I guess so. The president of the fishing club works at the steelworks. Yes, he knows where Fergus is. He's staying at his house. Aha! Uh -huh. We found We've captured one of them. Indeed, encased in carbonite. Now, my concern, if we were to, how much time did we burn getting nine. to here? We burned nine days. We could probably out of out, out of forty five ish. Forty five ish. I we could probably work down to two weeks safely. That sounds good to me. All right, let's do that. Let's keep going for the Where's higher. the best work, though? Uh, we could work here, or we could continue our search and look for a place that has a better daily rate. Sounds all right to me. Um, one minor problem. No idea where we're going next? <laughs> yeah. Um... Fuck. We'll just start breaking Fergus's fingers until he tells us any information about his brother. Yeah, if only. Oh, God. I don't have a fucking idea. Well, Tunnel Creek... Is in, is in Derby. <sighs> so that's where we started our search. Yeah, and we uh, and we fished out all the clues that there that there were the first time we were there. Mm-hmm. Um. And there's no more clues here. <clears throat> Let's go to the big map again. Okay. Um. Man. Do we want to search rivers, river singular, and just see what comes up in the database? We might sequence break if we do that, but I can't think of anything that wouldn't sequence sequence. Sequence. I can't break us. I can't either. Adelaide, Adelaide which is pretty close by as well. Alice, Alice Springs. Springs. I don't know where that is. Never mind, just write down the cities. Do you have that? Go for it. We've already been to Bork. Bork, 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 Bork. Dubbo! The Macquarie River. Dubbo with an asterisk. Why? The Macquarie River, they said. Oh. Wait. That's a lead uh, we can... The, the Macquarie River, that's a lead we can follow. Okay. Who said that when? Is that where they were having the fishing competition? I will answer that after we finish going through the database. 
Okay, you but, just recognize the, the... Yeah, but this this gets an asterisk as a, as a priority yep. clue. Yep. Uh, we've been to Echuca. That's useless. That's useless. Launston. Good. Uh, the Margaret River, which I guess we'll find the city for eventually. Mm-hmm. Melbourne. The Melbourne identity. LOL. Perth. Swan so River talking about Perth? Well, I mean, it's in Perth, so that's I'm just going by cities because that's how we how we map our travel. Swan What is it? Swan What am I thinking of? Isn't there a ballet that is Swan? Swan Lake. Swan Lake, okay. Uh Strahan. Uh -oh. <laughs> Strahan. You simply must go boating with us on Strahan. <laughs> the city of Townsville. We built this city. We built this city on Pino Labor. And stop giggling at the word penal, people. Okay, so our big clue... Was the oh, Macquarie. Man, it never occurred to me that most often a penile plethysmograph is also a penal plethysmograph. Because it's mostly done on people who are incarcerated. Ah. Mm. The, the thing, more you know. The more you know. Alright, so to answer your question, Macquarie River, Macquarie River. I know I've seen that name of the river. There's Darling. Here you are. When we were talking to the cops, they told us about the Macquarie River. I see. So, we got extremely lucky with Wollongong. In that, because that's, we, that's the eastern we, landing we wound we, up with. So you think we sequence skipped here? It's a possibility. Let me read this again. Where did they say east? We. Oh, there's a split. East to try out the Macquarie River. Or... Actually, big map. This might explain why we're missing a clue. Yeah. Now, where's Dubbo? There's Dubbo. Dubbo! Which, from Echuca, is distinctly northeast. Every time we say Dubbo, I can hear the Deep Space Nine Dabo wheel spinning. Ha! I need one of those myself. Well, I think we seek and broke it by taking East a little too literally at that point in time. So, let's head for Dubbo. And if we are on the right track, which we are, now I'll start working down. 90 for one day, that's good. Ninety for nine days. Coming into some real money. Another ninety. Another 90. Oh. Uh, yeah. That'll put us at 13 days, which I think is still plenty of time. Back to the main game. It is your turn, sir. 
Uh... Hmm. Sorry, where did you guys? I didn't. You're up first. Uh, did I get the last one? You did. By default, oh. it was the fine. It was the only pick left. Ah. Oh, that's right. The steel works. Okay. Sorry. I I had a a moment of. Wait a minute. I shouldn't be guessing. He should be guessing. Maybe he <laughs> did guess, and I just messed it. It's all good. Um. I don't know what Naramine is, but I will go to the Z the Naramine. I'll go to Naramine. You're going to go to Nevermind? Yep. You find Frank fishing down by the river. Oh, oh we fucked we up. Did. We, no, we sequence broke it. And it cost us some work time, but oh well. You find Frank fishing down by the river, but no Fergus. And that's your sequence break evidence right there. They had a uh -huh. bit of an argument when Fergus accused Frank of stealing one of his fishing maps, and Fergus went off on his own. Frank has no idea where, but he remembers Fergus saying that he was sick of inland fishing and was heading for the nearest bit of coastline he could find. Yeah, we sequence broke it. <laughs> and what day were we supposed to finish this? 25th. The deadline was the 25th? So okay. that's, that's, so a lot. that's a waste of 13 days. Almost. Yeah, almost two full weeks. Uh, uh, we oopsied our poopsies. Yep, oh well. Frank and Fergus make friends again and agree to a new series of Something is Fishy. Channel 13 sends you your checks straight away. $3,000 payout. So despite all that, we come out quite nicely ahead. All right. And that one is mine, three to two. So the record is now three and six in your favor with two draws. And with that, on to the 14th case. Wouldn't you know it, Fairy Floss has run away from home. Again. <laughs> you must find her by July 21st when she has an appointment with the dentist. Maybe that's why she ran away. You're given an advance of $100 out of a total fee of 1000 But don't forget, she is one sneaky little kid. Man, the harpoon gun. Ten days. So this one should go quickly, and we are not going to aside for any work here. Uh, but what if... What if we checked... Work here because I think this place has an airport. What if nothing? Too risky. There's only one find. Oh, right. There's only one find to be made here, and we don't know how long it's going to take. We have no postulation like we did with the last one. There will be there will be a better time, I'm sure, where there's more than one thing to find. I believe the last time she ran away, she ran away. Oh wait, um, whose turn is it to guess? It's it's mine since I took the right. I took the case win. Then you may fire when ready. Uh, I will guess the paddle steamer. That was mine as well. Yep, the paddle steamer captain, Fairy Floss's uncle, tells you she had just read a book about a dingo and said she wanted to go to Central Australia to get one for her pet. The book had been lent to Flossie by the captain's wife, who lives at Moana. I know what I said. I... Can't think of anything clever based off of Moana. Good music, though. Mm. Some really top shelf song. I mean, you can thank me for you can thank me for coming up with the joke. Uh. Um. Just say thank you. I won't. I'm not gonna do it. You must. I'm not going to. I see the baited trap, and because... I want the cheese. But I'm. It's not. <laughs> it's not Trade. worth the squeeze. <laughs> well done, sir. But you don't have any idea what the joke was, or do you? Uh, no, I, I 
No, but I'm not going to be baited into revealing something that is going to be perceived as gratitude. Alright, <laughs> All right, fine. See if you can find a better clue then. Uh, the flag is the flag is still up. Oh, cross the bridge. Cross well the bridge to Moama. Good job. Flossie's Auntie Dot shows you a book about a dingo which she lent to Flossie recently. The book is set in the Menendee Lakes area. I'd say that's more useful. Indeed. Shall we search for Menendee Lake? Broken Dick, Arizona. That's not. I can read. <laughs> you can read, but you've chosen not to. The hill is broken and silent. How's that? Oh, I love silent. <laughs> All right, set a course and engage. Let's let's play some Akira Yamaoka for the the bus ride. <laughs> All right. Gee, where do we go? Uh, probably the lake. Oh, but I would also not be surprised if that's the lesser clue, and then the Silver City Express. Is going to be the proper clue. Well, how do you want to do it? I'll go to the lakes. The police at Men and D tell you that they have been trying to find a little girl who was <laughs> <laughs> to find a little girl who was making off with all the local dogs. They say that dingoes have not been common around here for some years. Look at the notes again. Uh, let's search Dingo. Okay. I think this was before a Dingo ate hey, that baby. I thought you were going to say something about homework. Dingo ate my homework. <laughs> uh, well, so Alice, Alice Springs. Springs. Make a side note to that for Outback locations. Mm-hmm. But the priority clue is Alice Springs. And that's a point for you, since it was the only clue. That's enough. Okay. Set a course for Alice Springs. Indeed. Warp Factor Buff. Alright, here's a flag. Where say you? Um, walk down Main Street. You find a pet shop. The man behind the counter, who looks a <laughs> <laughs> looks a bit like a dingo, remembers a small girl with a blanket who asked if she could swap a couple of tarantulas for a dingo. Which, of course, she couldn't, because, as you probably already know, dingoes aren't sold in pet shops. Um, it's no mean feat catching a bunch of uh, tarantulas this is that your, are worth keeping. This is your field of expertise. Indeed. Especially in Australia, where the tarantulas uh, can uh, give you quite a nasty bite. Mm. Uh, uh, but... Generally, every time you see a tarantula in the wild, it is a male at the end of its life cycle, mm -hmm. and it's looking to get lucky before, before the end. Aren't we all? Indeed. Well, the flag is still up, so there's probably a better clue somewhere. I'm going to say the Todd River. No good. All right, where do you think? Um, uh, I don't actually know what the Telegraph Reserve is. I guess check out the local hotels. 
You meet a truck driver who tells you of a redheaded girl who talked him into giving her a lift to Birdsville a few days ago. Um, yippee, 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 I did not realize she had red hair. I thought she was Aborigine. In fact, I'm very sure she was Aborigine. Do Aborigines have red hair? Would you, would you care In to... the internet! Would you care to elaborate on your basis of knowledge for those of us who have no idea what you're talking about? Um... How does, how does hair... Huh. I yep, yeah, those are pictures of Aboriginal children with red hair. Hmm. All right, there is that a flag is, in uh, a grown ass woman with red hair. Cool. Did not know this. Hmm. Well, there is a flag in Birdsville, and we have about forty minutes to make a choice before nightfall. Ah, okay. Uh, obviously, we gotta go see the Bush Nurse. <laughs> the Bush Nurse, kind old soul, found a pet dingo for Flossie and was going to send her home on the next bus. However, that morning, Flossie, who decided to go off with a dingo and live in the prison tree, put a rat in the cornflakes, and while the nurse was standing on a kitchen stool shaking with fright, Flossie, and the dingo and the rat, Escaped. The prison tree. That sounds very familiar. The prison tree. Derby. <sighs> Set course for Derby. And again, the problem Wait. is we don't know where the final lead is. Because we have no we have no other Findable objects to track by. Mm hmm. Uh oh. Something is happening! An anomaly! You notice a crumbled piece of paper in your pocket. What do you do? Um, it's gonna have, like, something that we wrapped up in it. That's gross, and we're going to open it up, and the grossness is going to spill on our shirt, and we're going to have to spend time getting it dry cleaned. Uh, see what it is, though, because I'm trying to think of what could be so gross that it could cause us harm. I was going to suggest anthrax. <laughs> like somebody, somebody planted it on the on the detective. It's an old check made out to you for thirty bucks. Cool. All right, I say. We work for a day if a day of work is available here. You think so? I think so. Ah! <laughs> well, 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 wonders never cease. All right, then, let's okay. do it. Let's. All right, that's, that's enough. Of our footprint, our carbon footprint. All right, that's, that's plenty. So, where do we go? Uh, look inside the prison tree. Uh huh. You find Flossie and the dingo and the rat inside the prison tree. You chase Flossie and the dingo and the rat around and around the prison tree, but they are too fast for you. As you lie in the dust gasping for air, you watch them jump on the back of a utility heading for the bush. But where? Um. Let's try Tunnel Creek. On a property near Tunnel Creek, you see a utility heading back into town with Flossie, the dingo, and the rat in front. A grumpy station owner hands them over to you, saying that if he had to feed them for a week, he would be broke. Well, that's the case, and you won in a unanimous sweep. No, you got the last one. I guess I did. But I still lost. Four to one, so. Great work. You found Fairy Floss. <laughs> you put her on the first plane back to Yatuka, where she promises her mom and dad she will never, ever, ever run away again. How did I'm that... very sure that her, her uncle was mentioned as being Aboriginal. Mm. And Aboriginal? Aborigine? Mm. I, I'm probably committing... 
uh, like a series of microaggressions right now. Well, this story was a rather aboriginal concept. <laughs> if you get my drift. Uh, like aberration? Like abnormal. Normal, abnormal, original, aboriginal. I wonder... I have no idea what the etymology of aboriginal is. Hmm. Um... Oh! I see. Aborigines is Latin. For what? And... Uh... Well, we've broken the $25,000 mark. Uh, that, that doesn't look like Latin. But while you're looking for that, case number 16. The owners of the Castellot Report have four bills to send to people who were guests in the resort in September. Unfortunately, because of a problem with their computer, the addresses of those people have been lost. All that is left is their surnames and the STD prefixes of their home telephone numbers. Standard? Or state, territory, denomination? Um, Both. Sexually transmitted directory. I, I, mm, I thought we were on the same page until you said directory. <laughs> but anyway uh, if you would please take note of the following uh, I shan't because I am here to tell you that the Latin is ab origin, uh, ab origin which means from the beginning of course and then you just uh, 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 you like slam those two words together to aborigine Mm. Anyway, so that's what it means. Uh, original inhabitants, people who have lived there from the beginning. Very anyway, good. Cook, Flinders, Lawson, Dodgy. And, yep, so Cook with number 086. 086. Flinders, 003. Flinders! 003, license to thrill. <laughs> Lawson, 064. Uh, to the N64 startup. Oops. Mm. And Dodgy, 085. Very similar to Cook's 086. Mm. All right. If you can find these four people, you will get a commission of 10% of the total amount of the bills. All right, so we're going to have to do some database searching. We're going to look up STDs. Does that sound good to you? Uh, not really. Uh, not really in the mood for some blue waffles, but... <laughs> Do you have a, do you have a better... say, as Samuel Clemens famously said, if your daily task is to swallow two blue waffles, <laughs> the best thing to do is to swallow one first thing in the morning. Yikes. Hand me that maple syrup. Uh, um, a number, please. Um... Uh, zero eight six. Seduna. Is that not Cooper Pebble? Oh, I see. There's a bunch of them. Okay. Oh, good Be catch. Sold. Very good catch. Seduna and Cooper Petey. Seduna. What? Seduna and I'm Cooper. Have to... Here, look. Just look on the look on the screen here. Cooper Petey. Yeah. Okay. Number, please. Uh, also Bork. 
Uh, no, Bork is 068. Oh, that's it. It's transposed, rest. Little, uh, little Sidlexic, are we? Uh, just around the edges. Hmm. Uh, okay, next one is 003. Uh, 003 is... Launston. But not Melbourne? Mark Melbourne as a secondary clue, in case this was a typo. I have a feeling it isn't, but let's keep it around in case. It might still be a typo, but no one caught it because... It's a dead end red herring clue, and yeah, no but that the yeah, red herring. <laughs> yeah, but there's four. There's four of them like that. Look at Adelaide up top, and Perth. Yeah, you're and right. And Sydney. Mark Melbourne you're is a right. You're right. You're right. All right. Now we gotta play N64. I see Threadbow. Himbo of municipalities. Yep, Threadbow. And next we've got 085. Tananda. Uh, uh, All right, so that's Seduna. Oh, oh, there it is. Tananda. Yep, Tananda. All right, so that's Seduna. Cooper Petty, Launston, Bork. No, not Bork. Bork. Not Bork. Not Bork. No. Not Bork. No. Bork. No, we're Why not. Why did I write down Bork? Because you're Sidlexic and have Dane Bramage. You're right. Uh, Melbourne, in case we need it. Mm -hmm. Threadbow, and Tanunda. All right, do you have everything written out? Yep. All right. Time for map planning. Um, actually, first off, we are we are on South Mole Island up here in the northeast. So, let's map out let's map out the six cities in some reasonable order. Uh can you please list me the cities again? Seduna. Okay. Cooper Pedley. Okay. Launston. Launston is where? Okay, Launston's down there. Threadbow. Threadbow is here. And Tanunda. Tanunda. Um, what was our backup city, Melbourne? Yes. Okay, so... Seduna and Threadbow look like they might be the same distance. No, Threadbow would be closer. Just by a little bit, looking at the triangular shape of those cities. So I propose the order Threadbow, Launston, Tanunda, Seduna, Cooper Petty. So first one would be Threadbow. Uh, all right. Do you have all five written or do you need me to list them down? Uh, one more time. Okay. So Threadbow, mm -hmm. Launston. Mm hmm. Tanunda. Mm hmm. Seduna. Mm hmm. Cooper and Petty. Um, All right. And let's go where the threadbare himbos roam. Yep. After Launston, can you write down Melbourne? In the event that Launston does not pan out for zero three, yes, done. Put a put an asterisk on that to indicate that we'll skip One that. One step ahead of you. Excellent. 
Thank you, Navigator. Okay, first course. Oh. Threadbow. Uh, Threadbow, th yeah. Threadbow. Yeah, Threadbow. where the Threadbow himbos roam. Indeed. And we have four things to find, which means once we find the third one, we can start working down time. Boy, that did not leave us very much time. All right. The case win was yours, so please start. We have one hour to nightfall. Um, uh, look for clues in the hotel? Nothing there. Best guess, though. Uh-oh. An anomaly! You see a sign that says... It is forbidden to throw stones at this sign. As if I need to ask, but what will you do? Uh, I believe that you, as my brother in Christ, want to throw stones at this sign with me. So let he who is without sin cast the first stone. So Jesus will throw a stone at it. <laughs> You're saying throw it? Yep. A hidden television crew appears. They are filming this week's People in Action clips. Because you are the first person who had enough go to throw a stone at the sign, you get a $240 prize. Our sin has been rewarded. Thanks, Jesus! Alright, my turn, and it is not the hotel. Um... Wait, Alps! Why the fuck are the Alps here? Did uh, did Australia appropriate the Alps from Northern Italy slash Southern They're the Switzerland? Uh, couldn't tell you. I know nothing about Australian crime. Let's try. <laughs> let's try the Ski Rescue Association. This time you are dead lucky. Mrs. Lawson works at the Rescue Association headquarters and has been intending to ring the resort to find out what she owes them for her holiday, which turns out to be $2,900. So we get 290 which right. is a little more than we got paid to throw stones at a sign, I believe. True enough. All right, so, yeah, let's have some fun and math that down. 290 And next number, please. Or next uh, next city, rather, please. Um, we built this city in Launceton. Launceton. Long Satan. Oh, look at look at this. Look at plane versus car. Huh. That's probably because we're crossing water. Uh huh. We could probably make up a lot of this time if we take the plane. One of very, very few situations I would recommend this. It does seem to be the way to go. All right, so we're at Launston. <sighs> I will start with... I will start with the Cataract Gorge. On the road out to the gorge, you stop at a farmhouse. They tell you that some neighbors of theirs, Bill and Barbara Flinders, are on their way back from the Barrier Reef, but have stopped over for a couple of weeks at their son's place somewhere in Geelong. Point you. All right. Point me. And add a detour destination, Geelong. Uh -huh. We'll engage the plane again. Mm-hmm. And... Whoops. See how long I can keep this roll going. Uh, where would be a place for a family to enjoy time together? I'm going to guess the Botanical Gardens. You meet Matt Flinders in the gardens. He rings up his parents, who are still staying in his place. They readily agree to pay their $4,800 hotel bill. So that's 480 
plus the 290 we've already gotten, that's 770 thus far. Hmm. And there's another clue, but I really don't think it's going to win you anything. Try it anyway, just for the text. Um, let's walk to the falls. Walk to Fuckley's Falls? Or Fuckley's... Mm -hmm. Fuckley's balls. That's it. Fuckley's balls. Did. Nope. People who owe money can be rather hard to find. <laughs> I suppose so. Oh. Let's throw a stone. Your uncle has been borrowing your car. He has phoned you to let you know the registration payment is due. What do you do? Now, we had something similar happen previously. I believe it was an ant with an insurance payment. Mm-hmm. Based on that, what we did last time, what should we do? I think... Tell him you'll pay it soon. Okay. Well, this is going to be a follow-up thing. We're going to see another mm -hmm. event sometime in the near future. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, I will say, play golf at Queen's. You check the club's membership list, but there are no members called Flinders. One of the barmen tells you of a man he knows called Matt Flinders, who is a gardener. Hence how we got to the Botanical Gardens. Alright. So that one is me. And we found our guy, so next city, please. Skip Melbourne. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, but... Tananda. Tananda. We're back on the mainland, so everything is back in its normal proportion type. We're doing all right on time. All right. Uh, we have no particular clues on this one. And there are several places to drink. <laughs> I'm going to be a student of irony and say the Lutheran Church. And I was wrong. So, which drinking locale do you suspect they might be at? Uh, sorry, which one did you pick? I picked the one that was a good boy. I don't know what that means. I picked the church rather than any drinking facility. Ah, okay. Uh, let's go to the winery. All right. You pop in at Darren Dodgy's place. He immediately writes you a check for his $5,200 hotel bill. When you take the check to the bank, it bounces. The check, that is, not the bank. You back, go back to Darren's place, but he is not there. So he <laughs> writes a bounced check for five twenty, or for fifty two hundred. So if that's legit, it's five twenty. Would we'll take our total to twelve ninety, but we still have to find the guy. Mm hmm. I see no clues here, and this is probably the result of our decision. You forgot to pay your registration fees, and your uncle has been fined for driving an unregistered car. You agree to pay your uncle to pay your uncle's fine and the registration fees, which leaves you ten eighty poorer. Ouch! That's a hit. Indeed. Well, the flag is down, and we've got a minor problem. Which is? I don't think we have any clues as to where to find the guy who just sent a bad check. Um, and the flag is down. Uh, let's do a search for Darren. Oh, oh, boy. A little dog runs out onto the road in the path of an oncoming truck. A terrified old lady is watching. What do you do? Try to save the dog! 
The truck driver misses the dog and hits you instead. You spent 48 hours in hospital as a result. Oof. Um, but because there's some socialized medicine, we don't have a huge bill. Uh huh. So you say search the database for Dodgy? Yeah. <clears throat> that name should have been an indication, I guess, that something like this would happen. <laughs> Watch out for this bloke. Count your fingers after you've shaken his hand. Never pays his debts or bills unless he is forced to. Wears pink suits with a purple tie and smokes foul-smelling cigars. Lives near the Orlando winery where he attends all the wine tastings but never actually buys any wine. He has an equally dodger brother, Desmond, who lives in Southport. To Southport we shall go! So we're going to force this guy by his brother, huh? Indeed. The hell is Southport? on. The Gold Coast. Doesn't really matter where it is, we have to get there. Mm hmm. I think we can still take the bus. All right, let's do it. All right, let's check it out. Um, who found that, me? Or you? You did at the winery, right? Uh, yes. All right, it's your choice. Um, go to the casino. That would certainly be the place. <clears throat> you walk in on Darren at the blackjack table just as he has a big win. $5,200 to be exact. How convenient. The manager of the casino is a close friend of the manager at the Castellot Report, or Resort, and with the help of a couple of large bouncers, you persuade Darren to pay to part with his winnings to pay the bill. All right, so we've caught him. We are up to twelve ninety in prize money. And there's another clue out there somewhere. I'm just going to run it because you got the big clue anyway. After your water skiing, you go and see Desmond Dodgy. He tells you he hasn't seen Darren and says don't go to Jupiter's Casino because Darren is not there either. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty typical, isn't it? Ho, 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 ho. But yeah, you got the big clue. And next city, please. Uh, we already did Darmok and Glad at Tananda, so I think we're up to Seduna. Don't you mean Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra? Yeah. You are referring to Star Trek The Next Generation. No, I'm referring to a different... Oh, um, I see. Because that sounded <laughs> an awful lot like something. It, I was referring a different... Uh, Darmok and Glad at a place. I see. Well, that place being in Australia. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Next city, please. Uh, Seduna. Okay. We'll stick with bus for the moment. Boy, those two days really hurt us. It wasn't the bus, it was the convalescence that hurt. <laughs> Alright, so Seduna is not it. What's the next city? Uh, Kuberpedi. 
this had better be it. Because so if it's not, wireless? if it's not, we're all kinds of fucked. There's the flag. And I'm not risking it for time. All right. Your turn, and you need this to tie the case. Um... This is the Catholic Chapel. Nothing there. Um, let's see the post office. Okay. Uh, we can ill afford this. <laughs> it's fine. We can afford to get hit another whole time. You hear this whole track. Mm. You know, I seem to remember this from our demo. You hear the song Vogue on the radio. The announcer offers a cash prize for the first person to ring in with the correct name of the singer. You ring up and say that the singer is... Whom? Madonna? Yes. The number is engaged and it is impossible to get through. Well, that's bullshit. Uh, let's right. see an opal cutting demonstration. No. It's going to be the All opal right. mines. I tip my hat to you, sir. After making inquiries at several mines, you find a miner called Bluey Cook. Bluey had a big find recently and decided to live it up on South Mole for a few weeks and blew the lot. He has no objection to paying the $3,500 bill. So, that brings our prize winnings up to $1,640. And the case is mine. Four to seven now. Okay, save that there, and you have recovered $16,400 worth of outstanding bills for the Costa Lot Resort. They send you a check for your 10% commission and promise you a discount on a holiday at the resort. So that's $1,640 plus the consummate $1,000 for the bonus points for $2,640, putting us back over $25,000 and leaving us essentially even. <laughs> All right, so I do know, I don't know if I said this before or not, but there are 32 total cases in this game, which means this next case, number 16, from completing that will mark us halfway down the game. And I see 53 minutes on the clock, so let's keep going. All right, here we go. The producers of that famous TV show, Ho Ho, It's Your Show! have accidentally put their winning cook -a chook entries through their paper shredder. The, <laughs> only, the only parts left of the winner's addresses are four names and the four matching postcodes. Post uh, if you could please write these down. John Smith. Uh, I'll do you one better. I will take a screen grabby grabby. All righty. Let me know I'll when you're ready. put it into paint instead of into notepad. Hmm. Um... Done and done. Excellent. Okay, if you can find these four people, you would be paid eleven ninety nine plus bonuses, or be given a chance to cook a chook. I'll. Uh, what is a chook? I do not know. Have we had this conversation before? I don't know, but feel free to feel free to check. Chook definition. Plural chooks. A chicken, especially a hen. So a cooked chicken or a chicken dressed for cooking. So cook a cock. If you if you will, yes. Hmm. Well, I still want the money. All right. We live in a society. All right. Let's look up postcodes and determine cities. Uh, that's not it. Okay. Number, please. Number 5723. Cooper Petty. Uh... 
Oh, I see you've uh, done some work in the chat. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Just a little something-something. Aw. Right. Super petty, you say? Yes, sir. Right here. All right. Let me know when you want the next number. Whenever you finish writing down. 2840. 2840. Bark! Bark! These uh, these numbers four, seem eight, seven, four. Yeah, these numbers seem to be distinct. Four eight seven four Wepa. Wepa. I actually don't know how to spell that. W e i p a. Oh, holy shit! I spelled it correctly. You should be able to see this cursor. Yep. Okay. Uh, two thousand. Two thousand. Two triple zero. Sydney. Sydney. Um, I believe that's um, four, right? Yep. All right. Two. So now we need to make it an ordinal list. Yes, we do. We are in Melbourne. Oh, Melbourne is pretty close to Sydney. All right. So, what are our cities? Sydney, Sydney. Waipa. Waipa's way north. Yeah. Bork. Bork, 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 Bork. Uh, which I need to tab over to say. Okay. Uh, I got Bork. Bork. Okay, so Bork's in the middle. Yeah. And then Cooper Petty. Cooper Petty. All right, so from Melbourne, the most sensible route looks to be Sydney, Bork, Cooper Petty. Wepa. Cooper Petty. Cooper Betty. I can read. <laughs> uh, All right. So once, uh, so once again, that was. Or do you already have it ordered out? Already ordered out. Sydney, Bork, Cooper, Wepa. Excellent. Okay. Destination. Sydney. Sure. We have 13 days and four things to find. Let's hit it. All right. What are we doing? Someone who's cooked a chicken. A winning entry of a cooked chicken. Cook that cock. Um, All right. So the case win was mine. I will start with... I will start by calling the Powerhouse Museum. Interest. No ho hos here. <laughs> um, walk across the Harbor Bridge. On a passing bus, you see an advertisement for Mike Green's Silver City Outback Tours. So, yeah, write that down. Silver Mike Green's Silver City Outback Tours. Mike Green, Silver City, Outback, or done. And that was the only clue. I guess we're heading to Silver City. Yep. Uh, oh, that's the name of the guy. Mike Green is the guy. Uh, we're going to have to look up Silver City. I don't All think... Right, I don't think... I'm not sh What was... Yes. Is it? What's the... Yeah. Also called the Silver City. Oh, yeah, sure enough. All right. Um, let's check the map, actually. Where is Broken Hill? We'll scribble in red crayon all the doors that we've tried that were locked. How very, uh, how very Mario is missing of you. <laughs> um, actually, Broken Hill does not take us very far off of our beaten path, so let's just go straight there. Just keep on beating it. Yeah, let's keep let's keep beating that broken. Never mind. <laughs> Lol, eighty eight, eighty eight. Lol. Uh, 
Well, where do you think? Uh, flying around local property sounds like the absolute worst way to meet a person. Hmm. So, I will drive to the lake. Not feeling confident about this one. Michael Green yeah. has just driven a group of tourists out to the lake. He thanks you for delivering the news of his good luck with the Ho Ho Show. Well, that worked out nicely, huh? Indeed, for all parties involved. Well done. Except for the, except for the chicken. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunate about that. Where to next? Uh, oh, so now you want me to remember the information. I see how it is. Well, bork you! Why don't you go bork yourself? Are you saying the chook goes bork? Uh, indeed. Can I convince you to say that like Shinji? Please don't do it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and if you people don't understand what that means, you should be watching all of our shows. Shame on you. Indeed. All right. It is still your board. Um, sorry, give me one second. Mm. Uh, uh, ma, ma! Um, searching the database costs us money, doesn't it? It does, but not, not any substantial amount. Yeah, but I'm not willing to spend our money just so I can beat you in the clues. Uh, um, yeah, I, I would not allow that. Uh, let's go to the police. The police tell you that Miss Jones has left the area. She was going to work at the Western Plains Zoo. Every single time we go to Bork, the clue is at the police station. Sure seems that way, huh? Yep. So the Western Plains Zoo... That's not it. Dubbo. Dubbo! Check map. Dubbo is not far from here. Let's go. Place your bets. And put your gold press latinum down. Uh-oh. See what it is. You get a telegram from home. Your mother is very ill. What do you do? Send her $300 for doctor's for use? Yeah. Well, we'll find out soon. In the meantime, it is still your board. Wow. Um... We're going... to the zoo, right? You tell me. Drive to the Western Plains Zoo? Jackie used to work here? But left to take up a position as a paddle steamer captain. That's quite a change in... Oh god, which one was the paddle steamer? It was the river. Echuca. Okay. Alright, check map. Where is Echuca? South. So we gotta... We have to dump. We have back. to... Yeah. <sighs> god damn it. Engage. All right. You, sir, are running hot. Where to? Take a ride on a paddle steamer. Yeah. Captain Jackie Jones is delighted to learn she will be cooking a chook on national television. All right. That takes care of that. Destination, please. Um... Cooper Peeny. Engage. 
I'm gonna have to insist that you get Cougar PD right, because I'm a big fan of Cougar PD. I love Cougar PD. I'm a real Cougar PD file. I don't know if that's something you should be saying on National Web of Vision. <laughs> anyway, you've got five straight. Keep it going. Um I won't keep it going. I'll go check out the Opal Mine. Yes, you will keep it going. <laughs> At the fifth mine, you find John Smith. He is very pleased to hear that he will be appearing on television. I think every single person lives in the mine. I think someone, as a prank, hit the like nuclear war warning sirens, and they've just been sheltering in place in the mines ever since. Mm. And they don't realize that civilization mm. hasn't collapsed. Right. That guy who went on holiday uh, completely shoots down my theory, so. Hmm. But there was a lesser clue at the post office. Mr. Smith is well known to them as an opal miner. So there was a lesser clue to lead there. And, and the and? next destination, please. Waypa! Waypa! All the way north to Waypa! Well, that was hardly worth it. And this could be the result. Your sick grandmother has made um, a quick recovery, and she and Grandpa have spent the $300 you sent her on the pokies. Uh, is that, like, the horses? I believe so. At least if I'm thinking of Gumby and the fact that his horse buddy was named Pokey. And, uh... Was she sick? A nipple that seeped through a shirt, t-shirt, dress, or cloth. Generally most visible when nipples are hard. Excited. Mm. Uh, that's, that's UrbanDictionary.com right there. Uh, let's go to Wiktionary. Uh, slang, a woman's nipples when protruding. Okay. Uh, let's go to uh, thefreedictionary.com. Uh, jail, jailhouse, porky, slammer, bestial, jail or prison, especially those one in a tyrannical manner. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, ah, ha, 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 ha. Is, is just another name for slot machines, which is used in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, okay. I feel like this might have been a scam, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, We're never giving our grandparents shit from now on. Yeah. I don't really I... want to take chances here. Let's go right to investigation, and it's still your board. Uh, still my board. Hey, still my board. I believe Waypa's police are wildly incompetent, and I want to see them fail, so talk to the local police. The police tell you that a woman called Mary drives a truck at the mine. Okay, so, never mind. So looks like you found the lesser clue, and I'm going... Not that this matters for the case, but I'm going to capture the big one. Oh, I guess not. Uh, the mine... Okay, that's fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. The mine manager tells you that the, that Miss McKee is working right now and asks you not to bother her. Hitch a ride in a truck. This is your lucky day. Mary McKee is driving this truck. She says she'd forgotten all about her injury, but she would love to appear on Ho Ho. I should have said that we should work for some time, because I was very confident that was the, the coup de grace. That's all right. That's, that's bonus material at this point, I think, looking at our bankroll. Indeed. You have notified uh, all four contestants. We're actually down from where we started. Uh, not after this, we won't be. You've mm. notified all four contestants. You are offered a chance to cook a chook yourself, but you decide to accept the cash, eleven ninety nine plus bonuses instead. So that should just be twenty one ninety nine, And it is... And that puts us over 26. Near 27, in fact. Alright. We're about to hit 8.30. Which, 
I think has to be my limit for this evening. Oh, you want to stop here? Yeah. I uh, have not yet had a chance to eat dinner, so I'm starting to become quite famish. I see. All right, so we end tonight four to eight, your favor, two draws. You know what? I'm not even going to mark the draws at this point. And it will be your turn when next we meet to begin the second half of this game. And let me save all that up. All right, so let's move on. We'll read that next time. Let us save. Save is made. And yes, yes, thank you very much. All right. Oh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, like, I will not be around next week due to a uh, prior conflicting engagement. But two weeks from now, on the 23rd, we shall return and begin the second half. Thank you all for watching us. I'm Alpha. I'm Recluse. And be sure to stick that boomerang all the way up your arse. Good night. May you find the moon.